Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Sivilas Madhavan, Associate Professor of English. Today I'm going to talk about Renaissance in English. Before I introduce Renaissance to you, let me tell you a story that happened when I was a student of Masters. When we joined the class, the first week itself, our professor gave us an assignment. It was to write a passage on Aristotle's poetics. At that time, it was not possible for us to understand the relevance, the reason why we should write on poetics, Aristotle's poetics. Of course, we had heard about uh, Aristotle, his theory of uh, poetics, etc., but we were not well versed with that. And we didn't know why our professor was asking us to write on that. Actually, he was to teach us uh, Philip Sidney. Philip Sidney's uh, apology for poetry was the text that he was to teach us. And in the beginning, before he started doing anything on that topic, he gave the assignment to us. And his purpose was to make us do the work to find out the importance of Aristotle's poetics. And we took almost one week to get some points on it and write the paper. And we gave it to the professor, but he never returned it. After a few days, he told us that none of us did it uh, as he expected. We were all very poor uh, people in that subject at that time. And he never returned it. So later, I took many years to understand the reason why he asked us to do that work. It was when I had a chance to teach the literary criticism that I came to know the importance of Aristotle's poetics. Actually, Renaissance is a movement to revive art, literature, culture, learning, etc., exactly in the classical model. And it took place in Europe in 14, 15, 16, and 17 centuries, or from 14th to 17 centuries. So it was a movement. Actually, the literal meaning of Renaissance is rebirth. It is an intellectual rebirth in European countries. And it came to England by 15th century, or we can say by the end of 15th century. And that is the beginning of modern age or modern English. The modern English period begins in 1500. So by then, Renaissance had reached England. Renaissance was the reawakening or rebirth of uh, art, education, literature, architecture, etc. And the reason is that the attempt or the movement was to revive everything exactly in the classical model, classical with C capital letter. Classicism is a movement in ancient Greece and Rome. So the Greek and Roman movement in 8th century BC to 5th century AD was the greatest uh, time, the, the uh, best time uh, people talk about in connection with art, literature, etc. And later, when the religious domination came to the scene, it was suppressed or it lost its importance. So in 15th century or uh, after 15th century, the revival came to the Western world, to the Western countries, to European countries. And at that time, they had the classical models. So they were trying to uh, fix it up. And the reason was that Plato and Aristotle were uh, fighting each other. Plato was opposing poetry or art, and his own disciple Aristotle was defending it. And that is defense of poesy by Philip Sidney. And he, Philip Sidney wrote it to justify uh, poetry and art in English, in English literature, because Stephen Gosen, a poet, or 
a man of letters did it exactly as Plato did it in the ancient days. So Plato and Aristotle were fighting each other in the ancient Greek and Roman time. But now in the 16th century in England, in English, Stephen Gosen and Philip Sidney were fighting each other. That means Stephen Gosen was criticizing uh, poetry and Philip Sidney was defending it. Exactly like Aristotle. Aristotle defended poetry in Greek literature and here in English literature Philip Sidney defended it. So uh, that is the connection between uh, Greek literature and Greek theories and English literature and, and English theories. So reminding the controversy between Plato and Aristotle, Gosen and Sidney had the same type of fight here in English literature. That is the relevance. So that's why the students of English have to do something with this Renaissance, Classicism, etc. So Classicism as an excellent model of literature, art, etc. is the sample before the English students and it happened in English literature also. That's why Classicism and uh, Renaissance in the revived form in English literature uh, become uh, interesting and important. That's all about uh, Renaissance today and with some other stories I will come the next time. Until then, goodbye.